Welcome back to Mega Man X3. Oh god, it's happening again, no! Alright, we're back in Neon Tiger stage for the only reason I would ever want to come back here, which is, of course, cleanup. So cleanup this time around is, as you might imagine from the video length, a bit more involved than X2. Uh, I missed more things, and also, X3's stages are just longer than X2's, so... That kind of explains most of it, really. Uh, that being said, uh, at the moment, uh, I don't have too much to show off until I get to the upgrade, so I will mention what the pink capsules are for. So, there is the arm chip uh, from Gravity Beetle Stage. Uh, that one gives you the Hyper Cannon, which is a special weapon uh, that actually charges, I think, based on getting hit by enemies. So, kind of like the explosion, but actually better, because you start with some <laughs> in the first place. Uh, the Body Chip, which reduces damage and also gives you a barrier after you get hit. The Head Chip, which is just, it refills your health, and... Uh, sub tanks, which is useful but very slow, not something you can actively use in a normal situation. And the one I would recommend if I recommended any of them, the leg chip, which lets you do two air dashes. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. That being said, though, like I've said before, uh, I'm not picking any of those up, and you probably don't want to for reasons. You do, however, want to pick up the arm upgrade here, because it doesn't screw you out of any other weapons or upgrades. And so, now not only do we have another charge for the X-Buster, we can also charge our special weapons, which is not something I do too often. This is something I do, you know more often the, than the other ones. Uh, so, now that we're in the other stage with not great music, uh, I believe here is where I show off the special weapon charges. Let's see, Acid. I can find a worthy opponent. Takes a while. Kinda hard to see, but that's just real big bubbles. Let's see if I can do better here. Yeah, so... We get bouncing shots, kind of like what Toxic Seahorse actually had on him. Let's see, I want to charge up Triad Thunder here, which makes X do a big punch, which shakes the earth and also releases some electricity. Let's see, the charged attack of this one is this yo-yo that X has. He is walking the dog constantly. It is not super useful, if I'm being honest. I already find the special weapons in this game to be kind of eh. I don't think the charges really help any. Let's see, what's Charged Bees do? Charged Bees is... You get a whole lot of sensors, and when they lock onto something, bees go after them. This is a good stage to show this off, because... It does have a glaring weakness, as shown here. <laughs> the bees will go after things that aren't targets you really want to hit. They will just go after anything that's considered an NPC, or, you know, whatever those are. I don't know what the designers named those. Only Capcom does. But whatever they are, uh, the bees go after them. Uh, so it's hard to show off all of the weapons because some of them are just bad. So Ray Splash is already pretty good. Charge does this instead. This is considerably worse. <laughs> At least in that situation, but honestly in general, I can't really think of a situation where Disco Mode would be better than the base attack. We've got an Ice Shield, which is mediocre. We've got Gravity Well, which we can't show off just yet, because first, Triad Thunder. Punch the ground in anger once again, X. Alright, and up here we have a capsule. Which I believe is the last one. Yep, everything else has armor on it. Except for X's head. So, remember x 2 sensor and how it sucked? And how X1 was basically just an extra key that had you find things by bashing your head against things. 
Well, here's an actually good head upgrade. So, this one actually has two purposes. Both help you finding items. Oh fuck, I forgot! This actually has ammo consumption. Okay, yeah, this is the- This is absolutely the best head upgrade we've ever had. It is a far better helmet, just because it has special weapon consumption. However, it also does this at the beginning of every stage. Of course, this is useless right here, because... I've already found all the items, but we'll see it in use in the next stage. So we're not going to save this time, and please ignore everything that's happening on screen here, other than the fact that now that we have the helmet upgrade, uh, each stage will actually list off the items you have and the ones you don't have. Yes, this is insanely useful. So yeah, absolutely best, uh, helmet upgrade in the series so far. So we enter the stage, and... Behold! A map with stuff on it. So we can tell right away that our upgrade is pretty close to the start. Anyway, what's Charged Drill do? It holds a drill in front of you. It's kind of like, uh, Neon Tiger's Blades, except more useless because it's just... in front of you. It's genuinely just kind of useless. Uh, so Gravity Well is just... a high damage attack. It's just a screen wipe, but extremely slow. Yeah, I'm really not impressed with any of these, to be honest. Alright, so here's a pink capsule. I will approach one just so Dr. Light can tell us what the, uh, chips are in general. Okay, so this is the one that I said is probably the most useless, because this is just healing. Again, it's not active healing. You can't, like, stall in a boss and expect to live. Uh, you do have to stand around for a bit, so... If you don't care about wasting your own time, you can just stand in a boss hallway and let everything recharge. Honestly, just like go for a bathroom break or like, I don't know, get some snacks or something while you're just waiting for your health to fill, cause again, it does refill sub tank, so tedious, but technically useful. Alright, we've got two upgrades here. Both of which are towards the start of the stage, which I'm fond of. Yeah, so, I guess to be fair, uh, as much as I don't like the charged attacks, at least they make the normal special weapons look better by comparison. They're not my favorite, but... Charging up takes time, and... I'm really not impressed by most of those. Anyway, the only other thing in the stage is one of the pink capsules, and I'm not going to bother with that one. You saw where it was on the map, I don't need to show it. Now we've got another two upgrades here. So let's see, do I show off any other things? Oh yes, that's right, I actually showed off switching to zero in a stage. So this is more like what you would see if you were playing the normal X3. Uh, this is where you would expect to find Zero. Uh, I believe actually by this point though he would have less HP, because Zero starts this hack with more HP than X, but he does actually receive uh, health upgrades this time around, so... Uh, consequently, he can survive a lot. Zero is a, a very hardy boy. You can't take him down. Alright, so let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Uh, anything else I want to mention though, cause this is just this. Uh, I feel like just showing off, hey, you switch to zero in the menu is kind of self-explanatory. I guess other than this, if you're wondering why I'm saying don't bother with any of the pink capsules, uh, it is because there is something better that you can get down the line. Now, unfortunately, there are no Street Fighter moves for us to get this time around. 
no, we, we got the Hadouken and the Shoryuken before. Uh, nothing new though. Unfortunately, we cannot see X do the spinning bird kick. <laughs> Zero can't get Psycho Crusher, which is a shame. Uh, I guess I also show off, uh... This, this is one of the other Chimera mechs. Actually, this is, I think, the first one I'm actually showing off. Uh, so F stands for frog, which means it's sort of the best one for water. It's designated for water. It doesn't sink like a rock. You can dash around with it. Its weapons kind of fucking suck, and I don't actually want to attack any of these turtles, which is making this armor look worse than it actually is. But it's not great. So, yeah, here's some missiles which kind of just do their own thing for a bit. So, I didn't want anything in my way as I dashed across uh, the water here. I don't think I need any upgrades for this. You just jump as you hit the surface of the water and X can jump off of it. I wouldn't have known to do that without looking it up. We get the K armor, which stands for kangaroo. I'm just going to dash back and we're going to call it an episode, I believe. Uh, so yeah, no new Street Fighter move, however, we want all upgrades, no pink capsules, and eventually full health when we actually find the thing. But, we're not going to be doing that this time around, of course, because this is the end of cleanup. So, next time on Mega Man X3, we take the fight to Doppler, in the final stages of the game. Or half of them, anyway.